Newton's laws for this system and try to get an expression for the acceleration. So the first thing we want to do is draw a free body diagram. This is the force of gravity. It's called an F of GM for that mass. And um, since the system will be accelerating downward, then let's put the acceleration over here. Show that the acceleration is downward. And also we need to draw this tension here. Of course, since the acceleration is downward, this tension is going to be less than the the, uh, the weight of the, the, the mass. And then over here, we have uh, the weight of this mass. F of G uppercase M, and then that force is balanced by the normal force for this block, and then of course we have tension. And that's, of course, assuming that this block is, there is no friction between these two surfaces here. So let's write on Newton's law. Okay. So we're going to have a law for this part here. Let's not include cool acceleration for this part. And then for that part, we see that since the acceleration is down, F nap equals mass times acceleration. And for this part, F nap is F of T minus F G M equals negative M A. Okay? We're assuming that up is positive, so this started if that's negative and the acceleration is negative. Now, for this part, that force F net is zero. There is no acceleration. So we really have the Fn minus Fg uppercase M equals zero. That's our second equation. And then for this part right there, we have F net equals mass times acceleration. And in this case, it's going to be uppercase M. And so we see from that that Ft is equal to mass times acceleration. So there we have our three equations that we will need to find just about anything we want to find out about this problem. Okay? So let's say we suppose we wanted to find an expression for the acceleration of the system. Well, what we're going to have to do we're going to have to combine these two equations here, okay? And uh, let's see how we can do that. Uh, what we can do, we can simply substitute this here. So let's do that. Ft is equal to m uppercase m times a. I'm going to substitute that here. And that's going to give me uppercase m times a minus FGM equals lowercase ma. Okay? And of course, we know that this here is the same thing as, let's put it here, ma minus uh, m, lowercase m times g, equals ma. Of course, these two m's. These two m's are the 
same. Okay? So now, let's see, let's quickly do this. It's equal right there. Let's see, what did I do wrong here? Okay, I should have a negative, negative there, and a negative there. So now, that's going to give me m a plus lowercase m a equals m g. Now we factor out the a, and that's going to end, give us a equals m over m plus lowercase m times g. So there's our expression for the acceleration of this system. If you wanted to calculate the acceleration of the system, that's what we would do. Okay. So that was really fast.